Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we all know that California has some of the strongest, if not the strongest gun control in the entire country. Well, leave it to Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, to lean on every possible opportunity that he can in order to expand on it further. So we're going to talk about a tweet from him today and what we might be expecting here in the future after current events that have happened in that state. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So in California, they've pretty much done everything they can possibly do when it comes to gun control. I mean, they have bans on just about everything. You have to register just about everything. There's background checks for just about everything, including ammunition. I mean, you name it, in California, they've done it. In my mind, there's nothing else they could possibly do other than to just simply ban everything. Yet every six months or so, they seem to come up with these new bills that are just, you know, a new creative way to try and get their name on the list of people who've, you know, done something in the state of California. So it's just this never ending battle in that state. But right now, as it stands, they, they've gotten pretty much everything they want. Well, we all know that Gavin Newsom has had his eye on the highest office in the land for a long time. This guy's been working his way up there from lieutenant governor to governor. And I think that he has an eye on the White House. He has been talking about DeSantis, who could be a possible opponent, and saying different things that kind of lead me to believe that's where he's going. And now in this latest tweet, over the recent incident that happened in California, uh, he basically said that he would like to see California gun control on a national level. He would like to see it passed on a national level. And I think that that is his overall plan here. It's not necessarily to impose anything new in California, but this guy wants to bring what California has to the entire country. I think that that is the end game here, and that's what he's leaning on. He's not leaning on more stuff for California. I think he's going to lean on more stuff for everybody. Now, I know there's people out there saying, oh, there's no way he could win. There's no way he could win. But I want you to stop and think about something. This is like the left's golden boy. This, this, is, this is exactly what they want. He fits every single bill that they've been looking for to a T. And so he would be their perfect candidate. And they would throw absolutely everything they could behind him. And these days, you pretty much can't say that, you know, there's no way something could happen. It could happen. So it's best to start looking at these things now before it's too late because this would be critical to our rights moving forward. I mean, we all know that if the rest of the country looked like California, the Second Amendment would simply not exist anymore whatsoever. People have always talked about how much they don't like California and, oh, California this, California that. I'd never go to California. I'd never move to California. And, uh, you know, they kind of let California go because they just push it to the side, right? But then if you've ever seen that illustration of the sinking ship and California's already underwater, but we're all in the same boat, right? And so as California goes, so does the rest of the country. And so if, you know, all of these quotes and tweets and everything that he's been doing talking about, you know, national this and national that and how we need all sorts of, you know, national action on certain events. If you're not seeing that for what it is, it is basically California moving into the rest of the entire country and it would it would be absolutely devastating. But just know that every single event that we see moving forward like this is going to be an event that's used to further that cause. So I really made this video for people who don't pay attention to California and California politics. You know, it doesn't concern them, right? It's all the way on the other side of the country, maybe, or it doesn't involve them because their state is a free state, and so they just kind of throw it off. Well, if you don't pay attention to something, right, if you don't pay attention to an infection, it, it will end up spreading and it'll be a big problem. So it's best to pay attention to every state in this country that's putting down laws like this and creating things that are unconstitutional because if you just let it go, it will end up spreading. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. So it's best to start paying attention to California and what's going on in that state because it looks like potentially in the future, that could be what we're seeing, or at least a push for that uh, nationally. And so we need to be aware of that. We need to make sure that, you know, we're letting people know about it and, and not just letting it go. So what, what happens in California tends to spread. Just be aware of that. So again, I just wanted to make this video to make you guys aware that Newsom is looking to push this stuff nationally. Just heads up.